we're getting ready to put the valve cover back on. I'm using some lacquer thinner here now and just going over over the surfaces, contact surfaces here on the uh, on the engine and the head here, and we'll do the same thing on the valve cover itself. And remember, as we put this uh, valve cover back on, that we have to thread this uh, little stud over here through this fuel rail a mounting bracket. There's one on the other side too. On the other side there's also a ground that a little stud will, will go through like this and then that'll go into you know this hole right here. It's the ground up against the, uh, the valve cover. Here we go. thread the needle on that. We've got it in the fuel rail. Now let's hang it back out again. Okay. We're back in business. Okay, before completely seating this cover, I'm going to back it off just a little bit because we've got a little issue with this one stud here. So it has to go first of all through this ground and then screwed in a little bit. In fact, you can screw it in most of the way. You see that there? It's got a little tang on it that keeps it from spinning. You may as well put it in pretty much all the way. And then kind of thread both these studs through the little fuel rail. You can lift the rail up and lose through the fuel rail bracket. Now it can finally seat down. So a little bit of kind of housekeeping to do there. Now we can begin to place the uh, the mounting bolts for the valve cover. And there's like 13 of them. I'm not going to show all this. I'm just going to work my way around and on the inside as well. Okay, I'm just going to do this to speed it up a little bit. I'm applying no torque whatsoever. Going crosswise. to the point where it makes contact. Then okay. there's the four middle ones. Okay. So just go back and forth, corner to corner, side to side. Get them snugged up. This is a um, inch pound operation, 89 inch pounds is the uh, spec on this, and 10 millimeter by the way. Um, and if you don't have an inch, an inch of torque wrench, if it's only a foot pounds, they aren't accurate down in these low, on the low end like this. So you may as well just do it by hand. Which is what I'm planning on doing. I do not yet have an inch on torque, torque wrench. Okay, put the finishing touches on them. And you've got them torqued to your satisfaction. Move on. Let's just finish up some housekeeping over here. I 
get that one good and tight. And this one over here, same 13 millimeter size. And before we put this in all the way, let's put in the uh, coil back. Slip these lines back on. Okay, these are 10 million years as well. Snug these up. No kind of quirking operation at all on these. You know, we can get these brackets tightened up, this other bracket tightened up all the way. This one here. It's got a little tang on it. A couple nuts left over in here. Oh, wait a minute. Now they go on here on the ends of these fuel rails on the studs that are sticking out on the uh, valve cover. So we'll put those two, last little, pretty much the last of our fasteners. These have a 10 millimeter head on them. Just one more. This one I'm going to have trouble showing. Right in here. There's one of those rare places where a thumb drive comes in. And we'll wrap this up. A little universal action. Okay, if you took out the fuel rail mounting bolts like I did, put those back in. It gave me a little more wiggle room on this rail. 13 millimeter piece rail I'm using here. No kind of torque on that. One more over here. Okay, don't forget to plug in the electrical connector to the spark plugs. Little pack. Okay, if you've taken off the air intake, make sure you reassemble that. We have an electrical plug, a small vacuum line. I'm going to put this back on this piece of duct in here, and then it fits over the throttle body. And of course, reach through with a long screwdriver and do the clamp there. And this clamp here. Now, I had a little mishap with this uh, intake. Here it kind of pulled apart. I'm going to be replacing it, but I'm kind of anxious to test this. I want to get to have it all assembled when I do it. So for now, I'm probably just going to throw a little silicone around there until I can go to a scrapyard and pick up a, another one of these. It broke. Okay, it's time to reconnect the battery. Eight millimeter. Let's check it out. 
Hey, this is David. Been at this job for 19 hours. Everything's back together and we're going to fire it up. Okay, it's starting to sound like it might go. I hear a little put put. Like maybe it's going to catch. Let's keep trying. Okay, it's a trying. Let's try some more. Okay, the sweet sound of success. It took a number of turnovers, turning this engine over, a number of times before we were able to get it to finally fire. It seemed it almost came up a cylinder at a time. Uh, I said I've got it uh, stuck about 19 hours here for a home mechanic. I expect to have the car down for a while. Take your time, be meticulous and careful about the timing on it. Get it all back together and uh, I wish you luck if you tackle this job on your vehicle, on your 2.2, 2.0, 2.4 liter Ecotech engine. Have a good one.